What's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr., back here with Clever News. And Ariana Grande, Doja Cat, and Megan Thee Stallion have joined powerful femme forces for the 34 plus 35 remix, where Doja Cat used her verse to drag Takashi 69 months after their public feud. Let's break it down. So earlier this week, Ariana Grande revealed that she'd be dropping a remix of her musical innuendo anthem, 34 plus 35, and that the track would feature not one, but two fellow artists. But in true Ariana Grande fashion, she managed to casually call up both current chart-topping rappers to help remix the sultry track. And let's just put it this way, we were not ready. The track was released Thursday night and Doja and Megan each took turns dropping their own verses, but it was Doja's verse that had fans up in arms after she appeared to have dissed rapper Takashi 69 and it was anything but subtle. For starters, it wasn't exactly tough to do considering 6ix9ine is literally part of his stage name. So if we're being honest, the roast was basically handed to her on a silver platter. Check it out. I want that 6ix9ine without Takashi and I want your body and I make it obvious. This line in Doja's verse immediately got the attention of fans as they began calling out Takashi and flooding his latest Instagram post quoting the line in Doja's verse. One fan tweeted, Someone tell Takashi 6ix9ine about the drag on the remix. I want to see him cry again. Many fans chimed in, re-quoting her diss, along with their reaction in the form of memes. And others like this user claimed that Takashi should just count his blessings, saying he should be thankful he's relevant now. But in case you might have forgotten, the shade has been months in the making and stemmed after Doja and Takashi began feuding back in May of last year over who deserved the number one spot on the Billboard charts. Takashi had outspokenly been pulling for his comeback single Gooba to make it to the top spot on the charts and called out Billboard for manipulating the charts and preventing the song from debuting at number one and instead debuting at number three with Doja's hit Say So just ahead of it at number two. Fans then seemed to think she was referring to Takashi in a later Instagram live when she said, your favorite artist and there's no judgment if they care about that. Wonderful, that's fine. There's nothing wrong about wanting the number one and working hard to get to that number one. For me, I don't give a I just want to make music. Around the same time, Doja came under fire online after video surfaced of her taking part in white supremacist group chats and laughing at racist jokes. Not only that, but a song she wrote back in 2015 called Didn't Do Nothing, which was named after a racist slur mocking the victims of police brutality also surfaced, to which Doja apologized on Instagram, but denied taking part in any racist conversations in the chat rooms. That's when Takashi decided to weigh in on Instagram and drop multiple comments dissing Doja, writing things like, someone called her Doja Dog, and she started with the wrong one. Give me till tomorrow, hashtag cancel Doja. Whether this was in response to her comments about the number one spot or a racist controversy she was involved in, something tells me Takashi's wheels are turning and a Doja diss track could be dropping shortly. But until then, I'll just be over here replaying this mathematical masterpiece to get me through the weekend. But for all the details on Ariana Grande's upcoming movie project with Leonardo DiCaprio, click right over here for another Clever News video. And then let us know your thoughts on Doja's diss down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.